coach here at Princeton. And then Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Olics Channel. And、uh, I came back from Hong Kong. Thank you for waiting for that long. And、uh, I bought a lot of things this time, as you can see.、Uh, I bought some camera stands, bought some action base box,、uh, bought some premium Bandai, mostly premium Bandai, and some new other things from.、Uh, The build I first. Right. So now I'm just gonna you know quickly run through all the prizes and quickly you know run through, uh, is it old premium Bandai or new premium Bandai? Because I just want to you know kind of define it. And so first we have the first character, the RG Setter Gundam Three, and I got this for two sixty, at Hong Kong, which is. Cheaper than the original price during、uh, they they claim that the box is damaged so it's cheaper and I just bought it <laughs> and the next one we got is the Gundam、uh, Portent and I bought this for seventy eight HKD. And the reason why it's so cheap is again the box is they claim is damaged, so they sell it super cheap. But I don't know why people will think that、uh, box the box is damaged will actually, you know, influence their price. I don't really understand why, but I don't care about the box. I just care about what's inside. As long as long as what's in it is perfect. I'm fine if the box is corrupted, damage, whatever you want to call it. But I still don't get it. The third place that we got is、uh, the White Wolves.、Uh, get a good Jenga. Is it how you pronounce it? I got it for one thirty. Hey, Katie, it's pretty cheap though.、Uh, I look at some other prices in the model shop.、Uh, it costs about. One sixty, one seventy. So don't go to model shop. If you're in Hong Kong, just give you a little tip though. Spend some time. Go to Yahoo Auction, and sit down in front of your computer. Type the thing that you want, and sit down there probably for twenty minutes. Try to do as much research as possible. Just try to find the cheapest price because sometimes you can find very cheap price, and you just have to do a little bit of research. The next one I got is Heavy Gundam Roll Out Color, and I got this for a hundred and seventy-five, I believe.、Uh, it is the cheapest as possible because、uh, a lot of people in Hong Kong actually start overpricing this gamble. It sells about two forty in the shops, so I choose not to be a stupid person and go to model shop and just buy extremely overpriced. Uh, P Bandai's. I do my research. I actually a little story there. I sit in front of the computer for fifteen minutes trying to find the best price for me to buy it, and it ended up with a hundred and seventy five. And the next one, Advanced Jeans. Another thing that is very expensive in XK for some reason. I don't even know why.、Uh, the box looks pretty new actually. I I bought this for one sixty, and. This is not a very new P Bandai anyway. It's probably last year. Oh wait, not yeah, yeah. It's last year's March. Is it March? I don't really remember though. But I saw it in、uh, Robo City or or what was what's it called? Little Robot. They both sell for forty five bucks. But Robo City, if you、uh, buy it over fifty dollars,、uh, is free shipping. And Little Robots, they cost you twenty dollars for. Shipping. So if you buy more, the shipping cost is kind of not a big deal. But the problem is not really much things to buy. Next one, sniper custom. Just want to say though, this combo in Hong Kong is extremely expensive. I bought this because I know someone in XK, so I bought this with a hundred and fifty bucks. And if you go to the shops, automatically over two hundred. Just saying that. Uh, a lot of shops that I went to is、uh, about over two hundred, and definitely don't go to the shops. Just sit down, spend some time to look at it. But I have a no,、uh, I have a well-known buyer, so 
uh, he just sell it cheaper to me. That's pretty lucky. Next one, a little space type. I bought this with original price, 120. Uh, no price, uh, no very expensive way to buy it, but I did get it with a very cheap price. I'm very happy about that. This is actually the first gunpo that I picked up in uh, Hong Kong. And I'm very excited on building this because first Leo is like one of my favorite Max production MS and I'm very happy for it to have a XGAC version but I just have it by the normal release don't ask me why I'll explain it later thank you this is I give up on pronouncing that name I will pronounce it once the review is coming okay uh, it's Dragon Type D and I bought this with 150 just 10 bucks uh, expensive than the original Bandai price but it's not that bad but I mean, I don't have really much things to talk about because this Dragon Type DB, to be honest, it's not that valuable. The next one. You all, like, okay, first let me do an introduction. You all always blame me for not updating my videos to the latest Scampler. Yeah, here I am to shut you up. And uh, I bought the Sazabi. B. I bought it for 250 XKD, a very cheap price. If you want to, you know, kind of change it to USD, it's probably about 30 bucks USD. But you say, yeah, you went back to Hong Kong. Your your tickets is more expensive than your Gun Plus. Yes, that's true. But still, I got it for a very good price because I see some shops doing some ridiculously overpriced stuff. They put the Zaza B to 450 I believe and I just want to straight curse to that shop and said nobody will ever buy that Zaza B because your overpriced is too much that's why it's very important to do your research oh and also explain why I didn't buy the FA Unicorn because first I absolutely don't like that cycle frame color it's green and i don't really like it let's just let's just admit that fact and i don't like i don't really like over weaponize the gambler as you can see a uh, full armor unicorn is full of weapons yes extremely good for posing yes extreme extremely good for having fun but for me it's extremely annoying to put it back pull it out and put it back i just don't like that pull out pull back uh, for parts for that process because I absolutely hate it and so I bought Sasa B instead but I heard Sasa B is a very good RG so I'm very excited on building this and next since I always broke my action base so here I bought two action base one of them is 30 bucks and one of them is 32 very cheap cheaper than AU AU to cost 12 dollars System base next. I bought a pure white so I can you know do it whatever I want. If I want to paint another color, just do it on it. I bought one the white color version, and this is for a better display. It's for video improvement, and you will see it later. And then while I was in Hong Kong, I ordered some. I ordered on eBay is the Gundam Astray Red Frame Kai Action and Weapon Options. I bought this for. Let's just say, including shipping, is 50 AUD. It's very hurting me, and I'm thinking about how can I earn that budget back. 50 AUD, but you know, it's the last box, so I can't really complain about that. And next one, the newest thing in the whole list, H2 Magnum SV version. For the video that I said, uh, one year anniversary for uh, Zephonix, I did put this as the main title so just people can understand I'm not outdated I am updated but while in Hong Kong I will keep updated and I bought this and plus I very extremely like the color beam and the new equipment and I'm very excited on building this next one gonna ground type parachute pack parachute pack uh, not really much to say I bought it Original price is 140. I bought it for 150 because that's the cheapest price available. Because I later found out that seller actually put up the price to 170, so I was pretty lucky. I bought it before he changed the price. <laughs> I was pretty lucky. 
and the reason why I didn't bought the original ground type because when I heard the parachute pack is coming out and it has more accessory to play with so I choose to wait and get this parachute pack next one uh, Zagu High Mobility Test Type this is probably came out last year April and you might say it's pretty late but doesn't matter I like mass production type anyway, plus I'm a huge UZ van and um I bought it for 160 and that's the cheaper price available as well because normally people would just put it over to 100 Next one, Regalu. This one is probably the uh, second most expensive after RG Setter Gundam 3. I bought it for 170 What is it? Yeah, 170 I bought it. And, the, and I just... And I just checked the Australia price. It's, it's sixty five, I believe. It's 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 listed price is sixty five at Little Robots, which is ridiculously overpriced. If I just you know kind of show you the rate exchange dollar, but I still bought it, and is nah. I'm not saying it's handsome, but I'm just. As you can, as you know, I'm a UZ fan, so anything that is in UZ, I basically bought it. I don't care I like it or not. <laughs> now, before I go, all, all you want to call it end of the video, I just want to clarify, I'm not flexing. I'm just trying to tell you guys how cheap it is to buy it in Hong Kong. And I'm giving you some tips on how to save money while you, you know, you want to buy premium banner and how to save money. I will make a, you know, really clear video for every one of you just to let you know how to buy Gumbler with limited price and you can enjoy it more of course you're not gonna buy anything fake okay but just clarifying that point and next is the important part of the video please don't leave listen to me first so I received some feedback actually about my own talking problem my video problem whatever you want to call it I try my best to fix it, but there's another extra question that I want to ask you guys for me to do. De you decided for me, okay? So, my current video format is anime intro, unboxing, time lapse, build, and uh, review. So, it's four part shove into one video. I do receive a comment or not comment actually a v back to tell me to split those videos up because nobody wanted to want watch a 30 minutes video for example my unicorn banshee video is 30 minutes i believe i don't really remember but mostly my videos is 20 minutes long so first i'm not making any excuse i'm not trying to say i don't change it at all i do want to listen to you guys opinion should i keep the same format or do I have to split everything part up? So what I mean by splitting every part up is unboxing in one unboxing one video, time lapse build one video, review one video, or uh, you know, I can steal some ideas like quick look, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. Thank you. I'm not stealing someone else's idea. But what I mean is do I do you want me to split the video or do you want me to keep shoving it to one video because first that's my own format so i'm sure nobody else is going to copy it two i think that makes me a little s uh special <laughs> than others i don't know why i call it special but anyway so let me explain to you and i'm, I'm not making any excuses but if i split it like other videos uh, like my videos if i split it i'll be like other youtubers that do the same thing because a lot of Gumbler YouTubers they do the exact same thing unboxing, timeless build, review they put it all in an individual video but if I split it like them I will be nothing I'll be just like nothing different than them my own difference to them is I shove everything into one video so I want to ask every one of you that is watching this video give me a vote in the comments that uh, should I split the video or should I keep the same format Go ahead, I don't mind, but what I want more personally is keep the video format because that makes me a little different. Like, 
that makes me a little more special. Well, no, shouldn't you special? Like more different than other Gunpla YouTubers because they do the exact same thing: unboxing, timeless build, review, uh, all split up, and I do it as all in one video. But by the way, you guys, do you guys even know that every time when I upload a video and I did put the timer at the description, you can simply click to the part that you want to watch it. I don't know anyone else knows this, but every time I type the description with an hour, I typed up the timer, I type out the Gumpler's uh, weapon information, how, it's, how, it got, uh, how it got made, and I did type up the music name, the build time, the edit time, the build suit, is it premium Bandai or a lot? I did, I written it into description, but I don't know anyone of you, did you guys actually click into the description and looked at it? Because I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually put some timers in it. I put unboxing, You, if you want to watch unboxing, click here. If you want to watch uh, timeline video, click here. If you want to watch review, then just click at like, for example, six minute. I did put in that those timers, so, did you guys actually go check it out? I'm just asking it, but I'm still gonna make this vote depend on you. Do you want, guys, do you want me to keep the same format or do you want me to split up my videos like other YouTubers so I have no difference to them? So now, before I close the video, I just want to thank everyone again for watching my channel, supporting my channel. You guys are seriously amazing. I never, as I said in the New Year video, or anniversary video if you want to call that an anniversary video i just want to thank everyone for giving me the support i never expected one year i'll get that many subscribers although 100 like seems very small for big youtubers before me is actually a huge improvement i just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and please keep supporting me i will try to do my best and do some improvements as well and a couple of things to announce as well a new series is incoming it's very long and it's very fun for me. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that series is going to be very fun. Uh, I will have a, another video furtherly explaining about that uh, series, but not now. I'll just keep it as a secret. And also remember to vote in the comments. And may I repeat myself again? please look at the description i do put the timers in if you don't believe me i will put the timers in this video as well so in case if you want to skip to any part that you want to watch it or you just want to straight close it out after the unboxing video i'm happy i'm happy for you to do that but i'm gonna still put the timer in so you can click it in the description and then you can just skim, simply just skip it to that part that you want to watch it and this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it and i will start making reviews but i seriously need to take a nap because first i have a slap on the airplane and i only slept for like one hour on it and i seriously need a need a lap <laughs> oh my god <laughs> need a nap <laughs> You see, I can't even speak clearly. I'm extremely tired, sleepy. I just want to take a nap. And all right, goodbye.